It looks like one of the problems is that somebody actually pulled glue down into this into these sliders. I don't know why they did that. I'm hopefully I can take them apart and get it get them going again. So I started cleaning up the record level sliders. I had to remove this pop this circuit board loose with a screwdriver and then I had to unsolder one of these sliders and I've already basically cleaned this cleaned this one up. I'm going to open it up again because it, because I can still go in a little bit rough. It was full of glue and dirt inside. I had to in order to open it I had to bend these little tabs here with a screwdriver and then take it all apart so this is this is a slider I got it all the way open again and in the end I ended up using my needle nose pliers to bend the tabs all the rest of the way so I can get it open like I said this slider still goes a little bit rough it was full of glue and dirt inside here I had to clean this metal strip up here that was all dirty and glue on it I used some uh, a q-tip and uh, some alcohol and that's the same thing I did here which is this is actually the carbon track that what that when you move the slider around you that's how you change change your resistance here so I gingerly did that since of course I didn't want to destroy the rub off the carbon track and then uh, basically destroy it so I gingerly did that and once I was done with that I went ahead and used my uh, my basically my contact spray which has some lubricant in it and sprayed it on sprayed it on there and this is the inside of the this is the housing I'm going to go ahead and try to clean that up a little bit more and maybe clean up the contact fingers here a little bit right there so I cleaned it up with a q-tip again and now I'm going to go ahead and spray a little bit more of my contact cleaner in there it's got some lubricant which helps and then I'm going to go ahead and bend the tabs bend the tabs back it looks like it's going somewhat easier now so I can go ahead and bend the tabs and then I'll go ahead and take a look at the next slider which I believe was the the next slider is the left channel one I'm doing the right channel one now so I gotta do one more thing I gotta make sure the sliders okay also I can see right now since the sliders in an extreme position here it's at I guess it's at at one end and I can see that the control the little control arms there are making contact or else I wouldn't have any reading at all now I can go ahead and start seeing if it's working yeah I think this should be okay looks like it's about a 50 kilo ohm, kilo ohm slider 50,000 ohm slider and I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one out clean it up and then I'm gonna go ahead and solder them both both back in now I'm going to take apart the left channel recording slider there's glue in this one too but it doesn't seem to be as bad as the last slider I'm going to start by bending up these tabs right here I think there's total of six of them there were two tabs right here 
which, which I had already like untwisted. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a small screwdriver and very slowly bend these tabs up and then try to bend them up the rest of the way with a pair of needle nose pliers or a larger screwdriver. It's kind of like a pain in the butt to do this, especially since I have to do a total of uh, six of them, six of these sliders have glue in them. So I got a little group of small screwdrivers together here to go ahead and help me get this, get me to get this thing. So with a bunch of prying, I finally got it open. There's like there's a little bit, there's quite a bit of crud in there. So I'm going to go ahead and gingerly clean this up. So I'm just going to clean this up by using a Q tip, which I soaked in uh, alcohol. There's a fair amount of crud on here. So this metal track here, after I clean it with alcohol, still had some some um, dirty spots off. It didn't come off. So what I went ahead and did, I used the finest sandpaper that I had, which is 1200 grit, and then polish that up a little bit and it looks looks okay now so I cleaned up this little little contact here the arm with some alcohol and q-tip and also I cleaned up in here with the with a q-tip I think I'm about ready to put this back together now so I got it back together. These things, by the way, these things only come apart and go together one way. So you really can't make a mistake. Like you don't have to be here, you don't have to be worried about, okay, which way does this piece here go with the little contacts? It'll only go one way because the, uh, the metal track and the carbon track here have two different heights and also the contacts are I don't think it's possible to see it from here but yet they also have two different heights too so it only goes in like one way and the whole thing only fits on the fits here on the uh, fits into the body one way too So I put a tiny dab of Vaseline here, just where this, here this control, this control arm piece here, to, where this actually uh, slides along the housing, just a tiny bit, so I'm going to make it slide back and forth smoother. So it's still not sliding too smooth, so I'm going to go ahead and try to put a tiny tad of Vaseline here on the sides here where the, it's actually this contact arm where it slides inside here in the, in the uh, body. Just a real tiny bit because I don't want this stuff uh, getting everywhere. So as crazy as it sounds, that application of uh, Vaseline there is 
making this thing slide a lot smoother than it was. Once I close it up, I'm going to go ahead and spray some of my contact cleaner in there. It's got my contact cleaner has lubricant in it because if you can't just I don't my, at least in my opinion you can't just use any old contact cleaner you can but then you're gonna have to have something with uh, that has lubricating properties which is what was actually what mine what mine has so I'm gonna go ahead and close this back up and then spray the contract cleaner contact cleaner with the lubricant in there and then go ahead and solder it back on the board.